right, welcome back. So, in this video, we're going to try to focus on completing as much as we can in that second bedroom as far as uh, getting the walls completely, uh, mud and tape done, the ceiling, all the seams where the sheetrock meet and every, everywhere, get that um, done, get it sanded. Um, so that I can go ahead and get the walls textured and painted. Um, so I'm going to focus on that second bedroom. Jamal is going to work at, uh, focus on the bathroom. So we're trying to get um, the plumbing done. He's going to have a brother come out and look um, that does plumbing and make sure we're going in the right direction when it comes to our vents. Um, we have to have the toilet, the sink, and the shower um, to vent. Um, so he's going to work on that. Um, we were wanting to go ahead and get started on that center section so we can um, move some of the things out into that center area that are um, kind of crowding us right now. But it's been extremely hot here. Um, we've been in triple digits for almost this whole month. Um, we're going to work on that as soon as we can. Hopefully we'll get some cooler days so we can get started on that. Um, we can start getting our house looking more like a house. But until then, we're going to continue focusing on the inside where we can have some um, air conditioning. So that's uh, what we're going to be working on for now. So let's get started. Thank you. 
So we went ahead and put in the uh, vent lines for the drain. Uh, we've got the toilet one. I'll show you in a moment what it looks like underneath. Now this is all just put in so we can get it all lined out here. And uh, we've got the stove out for the air. Uh, we've got the sink uh, vent drain uh, ran, as well as the shower that you saw earlier. Um, none of it's glued in place. We're gonna do primer and glue uh, in a little bit. Uh, we just want to make sure we got all the pieces cut. I talked to a friend of mine and he basically was saying that you always cut and put everything together and then you go back and glue it later that way you know everything fits. So uh, we've got everything fitting and we're just going to be gluing it all together in a little while next. Alright, so when we were doing the, the uh, vent line for the shower, we ran into a little bit of problem. Um, as you can see down here, uh, I'm not sure if you can see in the hole here, but Here's a wall. This is where I would have put it to vent downstairs, down below. But this right here is just one of the steel beam supports for the container. So uh, fortunately, we're doing a, uh, a Roman style tub here. So we're going to have like a little tublet built out. So this will be built out for the tub. But we're just going to come down here and uh, connect it with 245s to get it to tilt and go straight down. Then we'll connect the trap uh, here down below. It'll be underneath to connect to the shower drain. And uh, That'll be what we're doing here. Unfortunately, uh, unlike the toilet, everything seemed to match up just perfectly. The beams for this, the container were not in the way. Um, and we'll go outside and look at that here in a second. But, uh, we've got the vent line here. It came down, the toilet came out over here. So the steel beam actually went between it and to the side of it. So I didn't have to use any 45s to go around it. So we've just got it coming down here. We're using a three inch pipe uh, drain here. So it's gonna come here. The vents in the two inch is what we're using for the vent. Um, codes in some places were one and a half, some places were two. So we just went with two and make it easier for all of our connections. Um, and then from here on, we'll be, it'll be connected to the, the sewage line, to the septic and everything later on. All right, so right here, uh, this is underneath where the shower drain will go. You can see the, the two inch hole that we have uh, done. And as you can see, the steel beam here for the car, for the container right there. So we have to do the 45 to bring it out. You can probably see here a little bit the, the studs for the wall right above it. Uh, but fortunately, this is the only one we had a problem with for today. So, all right, and that's what we got. So we've got our uh, water lines coming in here. Uh, we've got them right up in the ceiling, so cool. Um, because it's an outside wall, um, and we do get cold in winters for a month, maybe. But um, we're going to use some, uh, just some basic insulation stuff. I think that's going to help keep the water, uh, help the condensation, and just keep the water from uh, causing that condensation, possible moisture in the back, just keep it up and insulated along with the summer months to help keep the cold water insulated. We're going to do a lot of that up here in the attic in the few sections that we have here. So we're going to do that and then we're going to have the insulation. So that'll just kind of help keep it separate. Um, real cheap. We're going to just go ahead and do it while we have a chance. All right, so that's it for this time. Um, next video, hopefully in this next week, I'll get the walls textured and painted. Um, Jamal's going to go ahead and get those vent lines glued in. Um, the brother came out and gave us the um, thumbs up saying that everything looked good. So we're going to get that glued. Um, he's going to start working on the um, water lines and get some running water. And then we'll go ahead and get the ceiling insulated and the sheetrock put, put up. But that will be our next video. Um, if you have not already, 
go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified the next time we do have a video. I am going to try and work hard on getting one put up every week. Um, we have been a little behind because we've not been getting as much footage. The space is actually getting smaller since all the walls have been put in so it's kind of hard to put the camera up. But um, we'll try a little harder. But until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.